11.30 podcast. It's Odie Breeze, baby. Dre on wheels. You know it. Now, where were you was when a nigga was messed up? Where you was I was at, on man? my ass. I was stuck in a tree. Ain't out nobody held me up. out. Ain't nobody held me down. I was faded. I was drinking. Ain't I nobody was popping the molly. Shit. I wasn't thinking. But I'm Yo, what it do, everybody? This your man, Dre, a.k.a. Dre on wheels. Welcome back to a new episode of the 11.30 Podcast. How everybody doing out there, man? Beautiful, beautiful day. How you guys weekend was? You know I got an eggs, man. But uh, here this week, all the way from Jacksonville, she's the Haitian mama. She's my guest here on the podcast this week. Yes, she's going to talk about motherhood and a little bit of everything here coming up this week on the episode. Also, you guys, I have a special co-host this week on the podcast. I think you guys may know her. Um, I don't know. Well, I'm just going to call her Tish because that's my sister. Tish, what's going on with you? Hey, y'all. Hey, hey everybody. Hey, hey, I appreciate you stopping by also here this week on the podcast. Before I jump in to every, everything, I want to thank my guest for last week, Aretha Yvonne, the host of New Normal 2020, conversation with friends for stopping by uh, on the podcast. I appreciate it so, so much, all the way from the ATL. Um, but also, guys, uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like this video, leave a comment, share it. I appreciate it so, so much. But uh, like I was saying, I got Rosie, the Haitian mama, all the way from Jacksonville, Florida. She's the host of Mama Life. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. I'm doing good. How's it going? I'm good, you know, getting over my little ones. Okay. All right. Yeah, I was listening to your podcast. It's a very, very entertaining podcast, to say the least. Well, thank you. I mean, the kids keep me entertained, and they do a lot, so I always have content. <laughs> well, that's good. Well, I brought in my co-host this week because... You know, I don't have no kids. I'm going to keep it straight up 100. So, but my sister do. So, you know, she can kind of like chime in and, you know, chat, you know, when things relate, I guess. Uh, before we dive into that, you was telling me to listen to, well, uh, check out um, uh, Fatal Affair. That's on Netflix. Tish, did you see that also? I sure did. You, you did? Yes. Oh, uh, yeah, well, I did. What's your, what's your thoughts on that? Because everybody was, you know, trashing it all over social media. Well, I can't say trash. I wouldn't trash it, but it's like I already seen it before. I'm not going to trash it. It was good. But you know how you already seen that before, like I've seen that before? Yeah. 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 <laughs> what about okay. you? What about All right. I mean, I liked it, but my husband trashed it because he was like, he didn't get why they didn't kill, you know, they, they kill irrelevant people and they didn't kill nobody that they were supposed to kill yeah so he was like it was all trash because he didn't get it <laughs> i ain't get it either because the whole part they introduced the gun at the end when uh, uh nia long and her man was trying to get away grabbed the gun didn't even shoot no nobody or nothing like this movie was crazy though like my man uh omar epps just kept popping out of nowhere though. like this was a black horror movie just trying to just, just trying to be scary, I guess. I don't know, but uh, <laughs> but yeah, because uh, it's it's like certain parts, you know. It it just remind you, like, okay, you know, like I seen this part before. I can't remember which movie. I'm gonna say I'm not going to trash it because it's kind of purry. But I've seen it before. I don't know if it was good deeds. I'm not for sure. But you know how you seen a movie before yeah. and you seen it like Agni. What is it? Uh, what was that movie that um. What's her name? Taraji played in Agony. What was it? Yeah. Agony. It's kind of like you kind of saw it before. That's the only reason why I'm not going to trash it because it's Tyler Perry and I love Tyler Perry. But other than that, I would trash it, but I'm just going to give it like three thumbs up. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Y'all funny. Y'all funny. <laughs> hey, I, I ain't going to trash it. I ain't going to trash it. It was what it was, though. But um, uh, the Haitian mama here. All the way from the Sunshine State. Um, how's it how's it going? Um, being from uh, Florida and um, you know it's a hot spot going on right now. But um, more than that, uh, how's the Florida like in Jacksonville? I mean, I like it. It's quiet. I like the quietness of it. Yeah, it's pretty quiet, chilled. I love it. 
<laughs> real simple, huh? Real, real simple. But you're a mom of three boys. You're the host of Mama Life Podcast. Can you tell my viewers and uh, listeners, you know, what um, your podcast is about and also where they can catch it? Well, my podcast is on the ups and downs of motherhood. Now, I know some people think that motherhood is, okay, easy, like, but it's not. And that's what I want people that listen to my podcast to know that, yes, we do make mistakes and it happens. And yes, there's spit ups everywhere. And yeah, we do get mad at our kids and it's not all laughing. We're not like, oh yeah, this is going to be so easy. Yeah, we, we make mistakes. I mean, sometimes I forget the wipes and diapers and yeah, I mess up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. and, and they can find me on I'm on iHeart, Pandora, Apple anywhere, anywhere you listen that's where I am okay, okay, everywhere you get your podcast you got yes, it. Spotify <laughs> yeah also, well, you raising um, three boys, uh, raising them to be men, uh, I was listening to one episode uh, you know, you were teaching your sons, I think it was 10 things you wanted to teach your sons um, you know, raising them um, in this country as, you know, black boys and stuff like that. Um, and one of them, it's a lot of them, uh, but one of them was, it's okay to say no. Um, yes. And even though you uh, have, uh, you, you were saying a five-year-old or one in a six-month, but uh, these are really going to apply mainly to them when they get uh, in middle school and up in life though, but it's okay to say no was one of them. And um, you don't want to be peer pressured and bullied and, uh, you know, because that's going to be a main thing, you know, coming in um, junior high school or middle school, whatever you want to call it. Um, so, yeah, that, that was one of them. Also, uh, follow your dreams. You want to keep following your dreams and uh, don't get lost. Because, you know, in life, you can't get lost. And mm -hmm. you know, the wrong people, you know, you can't get lost. You can well, on the follow your dreams thing, I just wanted them to know that, okay, you don't have to be a doctor, you don't have to be forced to be a doctor just because I'm like, okay, go to school, do this. You don't have to be forced to be a doctor because do something you love because if you're doing something just because you're forced to, you're not going to be happy. And I want them to be happy in everything that they do. And I'm going to be behind them 100% as long as they work for it. Exactly. That's cool. Also, um, another one was um, treat women with respect. Also, you know, you're raising um, three boys and you uh, want them to know that um, hey, uh, you need to treat women with respect, you know, open up the doors, do things like that. And um, I thought that was a cool one. But um, like I was saying, I don't have kids. But if I did, uh, th these were things, you know, I would tell them. But most importantly, uh, most importantly, because I was talking to a guy on the wrestling podcast uh, last week and he was going through some things and he was saying, you know, he wanted to um, have a conversation about it's okay to cry, you know, because well, especially for men, because um, growing up, you know, even been raised, you know, even by your father or your mom, you know, for, especially for boys, it's always, you know, you gotta stay tough, you gotta, you know, you're not a little girl, you know, don't cry. So when they get into those uh, certain situations in, in life, as they get older, you know, it, 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 it all trickles down to mental health, you know, because they want to be able to express themselves. So, you know, when they don't have, you know, no way or outlet to express themselves to anybody, you know, it's, it's real hard. So when they do cry, you know, they looking at it like, oh, I'm not, I'm, I'm soft when I know. And that's all, you know, it's cool to cry. You gotta punch your heart in, punch through it. You feel me? Shake that off, let's go. Hoops! 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 That's what this is about. Good, let's get to that. Why are you crying? That's what this is about, son. It's okay to cry, we cry as men. Why are you crying, though, son? Come on. Tell me, why are you crying? Try to test for a reason, but why are you crying? Go ahead, son. Because what? Because it is hard to put a with my left hand. Okay, good. But you did it, though. You punched him with your left hand. You know in life there's going to be things harder for you to do than other things? Yes, sir. And you know those things that may appear to be hard to do, you're going to have to do as a man, regardless? 
and it's gonna take tears. It's gonna take the blood of Yeshua, Jesus, and your sweat to break through it. Do you understand? Yes, sir. So I don't mind you crying. I cry a lot too. You know what I'm saying? All right. So I want you just to you're pulling your blow. I don't know if you're facing fear or you're feeling that you may not make it. And we all face that from time to time. And when we face, as soon as we have resistance, we don't want to stop, right? Because it's hurting. We feel that pain. We're like, I'm not going through this no more, right? Exactly. We have to go our way as men. It's going to be very painful. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Being a black man in this country, you're going to need mental fortitude. You're going to have to be strong here more so than here. You understand? Yes, you can do it. You just got to put your mind to it. And it's good to cry so you can work through that emotion. So when it arises again, you can push it to the side and do what you have to do. You understand? Yes, sir. Right, Let's see what you got. I thought that was uh, a very most important one to um, teach your boys. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, they do need to learn that because crying, crying is okay. It's okay. So just so you won't like bottle your emotions and get angry at the end. Exactly. Yeah. That's why I try to tell my son, you mm -hmm. know, I have a, a seven year old and I try to tell him, you know, it's okay to talk about how you feel. You don't want to just cry. Don't cry. Just tell me what's on your mind. Tell me how you feel, you know. It's okay to feel sad, but what are you sad about? You know what I'm saying? Or are you upset about you can't play the game right now because you've been playing it all weekend and it's time to end and you're pouting. Yeah. You can't pout, son. Tell me, what's wrong? Why are you pouting? You know, mm -hmm. it's okay. Mm, Mom, I want to play the game. But son, you played the game all weekend. It's time to relax now. It's time to get it unwind and get a game, you know, break. Again, you know, so time. I'm, yeah, so I'm, you know, I'm, I'm exactly with you all, you know, as far as, you know, telling my son, you know, it's okay to express yourself. I don't want you to have anything bottled in, you know, and you walking mm -hmm. around and you know how we do, we walk around mm -hmm. and everything's okay. Yeah. You know, everybody walking around like everything's okay, but everything is not okay. And I, you know, we have to raise our children different today so they, you know, they can understand because Everybody didn't say, okay, it's okay to re uh, it's okay to express yourself. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's not said enough for kids today, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. So we just have to keep installing it into our children. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. Hey, got that right. Um, Haitian Mama, uh, real quick, uh, how was it during that episode when you were uh, in the hospital in labor? Because that seemed like that was a whole lot going on right there. It was a very short episode. I, I was like, I was really listening. I was like, how long this is going to go on for right now? She was so mad she didn't bring her microphone or anything. She was just like, I'm in pain. I got to go. Like, tell me about it. I want to hear, hear more about that episode right there. Because I feel as though it should be a part two. I think you, you, left, out, you left out some things. Oh no. <laughs> okay, so we went to the hospital. I mean, it was like early in the morning. And then I was in the hospital, like, it seemed like forever, but it was like, it was only a few hours. And then I was like, well, since I'm there, I mean, I was in no pain at first. I was like, well, let me just do my podcast because I'm just sitting there listening to music. And the nurses was like, well, I'm, we're surprised you're not in pain. I mean, you're like far along. I'm like, no, I'm cool. I'm just listening to some music. And I was like, well, let me just do my podcast. <laughs> you know, that, that's what calms, calms me down. And so I was doing it and all of a sudden I felt a little pain. I was like, oh shoot, I think the baby might be coming. So let me just hurry up and record this episode. <laughs> <laughs> and so when I was like almost through, I was like, oh shoot, okay, I got, I got to go because this pain, I can't take it anymore. And I just hung up. And then next thing you know, the doctor was coming in and it was, I was like 10 centimeters along. So I was like, it's time to push. <laughs> time to push. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, that was a cool, that was a cool episode because I was just, I'll be honest with you, I was making me something to eat and I stopped for a minute. And I'm like, okay, that was a short one real quick. She was just like, I gotta go. So that was, that was real cool though. But uh, we're gonna move on here in the 1130 podcast. Of course, you know, I got two moms here and uh, they have kids. And of course, kids right now, um, all across the country, well, some places, they are heading back to school here in the city, here in Washington, D.C. Some of them, not, not just yet though, but um, 
Uh, kids returning to school, more than 250 schools and teachers from one Georgia school was, uh, they attracted uh, COVID-19. And I, you know, was talking to the Haitian mama here, uh, was that she's not going to send her kids back just yet. Tish, you know, what's your thoughts on that? I know mm-hmm. it got to be a real difficult decision to send your I'm, kids back right now, you know, right. especially when school starts. Yeah, I'm with her on that because at first I was, you know, we've been in the house for so long. Mm-hmm. And, you know, my daughter, she had just started pre K3. So she's getting used to it. She's starting to remember her friends, remember the things that her teacher did, you know, just small things when she bought them lunch. And I remember my friends, and, you know, it's like, okay, she just started. Oh, I want her to finish, yeah. you know, but at the same token, I want my baby to be safe. I want both of them to be safe. I want the teachers to be safe, you know, because. If the students go to school and the teachers, you know, it, it, however it goes, if somebody contract it and everybody's going to get sick, you know what I'm exactly. saying? And I just feel like it's just not time yet. It's just mm-hmm. still too soon. Yeah, that was my thought exactly because I'm like, well, I'm a stay at home mom anyways. It's not like I'm going anywhere. So if I, I want my kids to stay safe, so I'm not going to send them to school and have them, you know, if they are being exposed. Right. Because, you know, once kids get into school, like, there's a possibility that the mask is going to come off. I'm not right. even going to lie. <laughs> right. So, so I'm like, I might as well keep him home. Mm-hmm. Well, he's yeah. going to be in the kindergarten anyway, so. My thing was, I thought about that, and I'm like, how do you expect for a pre-K three or a kindergarten to keep their mask on all day? I can barely keep my mask on when I'm trying to do my exercise outside or do my walk, you know, because I'm trying to get a little bit of fresh Mm -hmm. fresh air. So I'm trying to figure out how do you think that a a little kid would sit and just have a mask on all day? Yeah, my daughter, she knows what the coronavirus is. She knows that if she needs to wear her mask so she will get so she can stay safe. So she won't get sick. She knows that much. They're really, really smart. So it's like, you know, it's just like, mm mm-hmm. I ain't feeling it at all. I'm just not. Well, this coronavirus, I feel as though it's not going nowhere just yet. And it's not. for you having mm-hmm. little kids in the schools and stuff, knowing that, you know, they touch everything, put their fingers in their mouth, and, you know, you having a mask on, they going to take that off and go doing what they ever want to do, you know, especially right. the new ones. So, you know. Playing with their friends, all that. <laughs> Exactly. You know, you know, they don't, you know, they just know to share and stuff like that. They don't, you know, they're not knowing that, okay, you need to stay six feet. You know, you're telling a four-year-old, stay six feet. And they're looking <laughs> like, okay, you know, so. Yeah, they, they, they're not comprehending nothing. nothing nobody they're not saying. ready. They ain't listening. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, man, we're going to move on here on the 1130 podcast. Uh, you guys want to play a game? Yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have fun. We're gonna have fun. We're gonna play a game of would you rather, you know, one of you guys can answer, you know, first. It doesn't really matter though. But uh, you guys ready? Okay. All right, all All right, right. here we go. All right, would you rather share your bed with all of your kids for a year or have to do all of the homework for a year? (laughs) Well, let me get that pencil out. Oh, I'm telling you, I can't share my bed. My daughter, she sleeps too wild. Okay. My son's too. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you guys, y'all ready to do the homework with them though, huh? Yep. Well, they don't mm-hmm. even give out the same homework that they used to give out, so I don't even, I, I don't, mm-mm. like, not, not, I mean, you can sleep in the bed with me for one night, I guess. You can <laughs> something out. <laughs> All right. Would you rather give birth alone in the woods or give birth on stage in front of an audience of 1,000 strangers? <laughs> Uh, I if, if if the people gonna be there, the doctor, <laughs> the doctor gonna be there on the stage. I'm gonna push this baby out on the stage. I am not about to be in the woods by myself <laughs> trying to push out a baby crying for my mama. I ain't got time for that. <laughs> I'd rather do it on the stage with a million people that I don't even know. I okay. rather in the look in the doctor's there. You know. <laughs> what, what's your? What, what do you think? Well, give me the stage. I don't care anyways. I had three of them. Yes. Okay. okay. I, I guess I'll be the host, you know, just sitting right here. You know, so, we can, so it can be more comfortable for you guys, you know. So, all right. 
All right. Would you rather be able to know when your child is lying or to hear all of their thoughts? Ugh. That's kind of tough, right? Uh, I, 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 I'm, before you guys answer this, you know, I remember, you know, when I was little, you know, your mother, you know, be saying something, you know, smart in your head, and your mother was like, yeah, I, you, you, "What you say? Say it out loud." You know, I'm gonna read those <laughs> thoughts. You know, so, hey, man, I don't know if I was you, if I was you guys, I would just say read all your thoughts because I slap them in the back of the head. So <laughs> you say something crazy, they just say, "God damn it!" You know, like what? You know, so, um, but go ahead, you guys. No, because I would not want to hear Lord Anthony thinking in his head, <laughs> I can't wait till I get grown so I can do this or do that. No, because you won't, don't be thinking that. Don't rush it, son. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I don't know. That's a tough one. That's I have tough boys, one. so, uh, no. <laughs> yes. Nah, okay. not with a boys. <laughs> okay, all right. Would you rather your kid pee in your bed or you pee in your kid's bed? Either way, peace thanks. So <laughs> there's no good answer for that though. It's really not. It's really not. It's just like it's still wanna stink. Um if anything, if if if, it, if an accident happened <laughs> Accidents I'm, happen. We know accidents happen. So uh, I don't want it to be in my bed, but I wouldn't want to have an accident in their bed. So I'm gonna have to say I will go with them having an accident in my bed. I'll take that. Okay. I take that loss. Mm. Oh, yeah, right. I can't be peeing in no little kid bed. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There's no excuse. Yeah. There's no, no excuse. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Would you rather a four year old? Would you rather have a four year old who stands six feet tall, or that, or one that weighs three hundred pounds? Fine, six feet tall. I can't weigh three hundred pounds. I don't know. <laughs> I wouldn't do the 300 pounds either. I'll have a taller, a four year old that's six feet tall. I mean, I'll be kind of scared. It'll be kind of weird, you know. Yeah, you're right, Come on, baby. Right? Come on, baby. Come on, get on the swing, you know. But I mean, the four year old be able to do whatever he want to do. You feel me? You know, you got certain parents who you may be not you, that tall. Hey, really. hey, can you help mommy get that up there? Yeah, next time? I know, right? We taking you to the grocery I store. I mean, yes. you go, right? <laughs> Uh, would you rather would you rather meet Denzel Washington or the current president? Denzel. Denzel. <laughs> okay, because if I can't say what I gotta say to number 45, i you know, it's no point. Okay. In yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think everybody's gonna go with the Denzel one. All right. Uh would you rather your kids wear a uniform to school or clothing of their choice? A uniform. Because they be taking too long. Taking too long? I'm with the uniform. I'm with the uniform, mm-hmm. too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know, kids are kind of messy. You know, they, not mm-hmm. kinda, they're they messy. So paint certain things. I could take it in a uniform, you know. But yeah. Yeah. something that I bought for you nice and come on, let's go. Put all your nice stuff and, you know. Exactly. It's a paint stain that never will never come out. Mm-mm. You buy three of them uniforms, you're going to wear all them junk this week. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. Would you ever would you ever continue your life or restart it? <sighs> hey, I'm gonna have to continue. I'm gonna have to continue this journey. Yeah, ride it to the wheels for a while. I'm gonna have to continue it. Um I love it so far, you know, I'm blessed. So I would just continue this journey. I can't restart it. I mean, I already got the boys that I want, so I got to continue. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. I appreciate that. That's cool. That's cool. Well, I guess you guys did good here on a Would You Rather, though. I appreciate <laughs> you guys uh, participating so, so much. Um, Haitian Mama, I appreciate you stopping by here on the 1130 podcast. Um, is there anything you want to get off your chest or say before um, you know, we take this commercial break and wrap it up? Well, thanks for having me. I mean, this was really fun. This was really fun. Mm, Thank you so much. And nice to meet you. (laughs) Yes, thank you. Nice Nice to meet you, you. too. Nice to meet you, too. Um, Anytime, anytime. Like you said, Mama Life, every Tuesday, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, wherever you get your podcasts, watch our episode, and come over and watch the 1130 Podcast. You know how we get down. That's the Haitian Mama, Mama Life Podcast, you guys. We're going to take a quick, quick, short break here on the 1130 Podcast. We'll be
When it comes to growing your podcast, it's tough to know where to start. That's why Anchor gives podcasters the tools they need to make each episode better than the last. Now, Anchor Analytics includes new stats from Spotify to help you better understand who's listening and what they like about your show. With charts that let you see how far people are making it into each episode and where they're dropping off, you can plan your podcast around the content that performs best. Hover over to see how many people are tuning into specific segments and learn what hooks your audience by comparing the average listening time across multiple episodes. Using anonymized demographic data from Spotify, take a granular look at the age and gender of your listeners to start tailoring your content or targeting new audiences. Track analytics from multiple platforms and Spotify insights. Everything you need to grow your podcast all in one place with Anchor. Yo, welcome back here to the 11:30 podcast. Yo, I want to give a shout out to my big brother Zodi Breeze. I appreciate the music so so much, man. They digging it. Yo, you guys, man. I want to thank the Haitian mama all the way from Jacksonville, Florida, for stopping by here on the 11:30 podcast. I appreciate it so so much. You can follow her, follow her, and find her podcast, Mama Life, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, wherever you get your podcasts. That's Mama Life, right? But uh, also, you guys, my co-host, that uh, stop fast this week on the podcast my big sis was goody what's going on with you hey y'all what's up y'all <laughs> how you been how you been i know this coronavirus Good. shit is you know going crazy and shit but uh how you been uh maintaining it staying you know focused and stuff i'm trying to just trying to stay focused exercising i've been walking more trying to get the kids out you know what I'm saying? Take them out as much as I can while they scooters and stuff. Not too much, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. I've been doing my walking, trying to keep my mind clear from sitting in the house. You know? I feel you. Yeah. They getting on your nerves? They getting on your nerves now? I mean, I think we starting to work each other nerves, but <laughs> it's okay. We have our, we have fun. We have a lot of fun moments. Our fun moments outweigh the bad ones, so. Okay. That's cool. Yeah, man. Like we was just saying during the commercial break, man, some crazy shit. You know, we from the city and D.C. Uh, crazy shit happening, man. Uh, I heard it was 13, but it could have been more. You know, people got shot at a party, a gathering and everything. Like you were saying, it's a coronavirus going out here. And people just like, people just going wild, huh? Like, yeah. it's crazy. Yeah. yeah, they losing their mind. You, I, I can understand is, you know, people don't have nowhere to go. And, you know, everybody want to get together and, you know, socialize, I guess, kick it or whatever the case may be. But right now it's just, it's just not the time, you know, especially yeah. what's going on in our city. It's been a lot of gun violence going on. So, you know, I just think that people just need to just put the pause on it, whatever type of beef you got going on. I mean, we just got to get past this violence. It's just, it's sickening. It's sad. You know what I'm saying? Because people mm -hmm. just don't have no regard for the next person's life or their own life for that matter. Bless you. Exactly. Exactly. Thank you. Um, they don't. They don't. You you already you got to worry about this disease killing you. You got to worry about coming in the house, washing your hands, doing everything you're doing. And not only that, you got to worry about this food, you know, trying to do something to you. You know, not even yeah. that. It wasn't even too long ago, like I was speaking on the podcast not too long ago. Um, you know, it was the 11 year old boy, you know, who was at a party and stuff in Southeast, you know, uh -huh. they just moved around from that neighborhood and he go back, you know, on 4th of July, just chilling there. That shit happened right there. You know, right. it's crazy though. Like, Yeah, it's sad because, you know, the mom, she's doing something for the community, giving back to her community. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? When you try to do something and you're trying to give back to the people that don't have it or just bring everybody together. You know what I'm saying? We trying, she was, apparently she was trying to bring everybody together and everybody have a good time. Not in the midst of it, losing a child. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's crazy, man. It's tough. Everybody need to stop, you know, what they doing, man. And, you know, think about it, man. Get it, get it, you know, like, come on. Like, find what you good at and, you know, Stop hating on the next nigga. And even then, man, come on. How are you supposed to be a gangster, bro, and you shooting in front of, 
you know, a whole bunch of a crowd, a whole, a whole crowd. Like, come on, bro. Right. Come on. But, uh, you know, we gonna move on, man. Here on the 1130 podcast, you know, I've been staying focused, you know, staying focused and being consistent here on the 1130 podcast. I appreciate everybody, you know, who've been tuning in and watching me. I appreciate it so, so much. Um, but, um, we got a WTF moment of the week, you know, uh, Tish, you know, you got any, uh, what the fuck moment of the week? Any crazy ass shit you seen or heard, you know? Mm. Outside of number 45 saying it is what it is. Worry about wearing masks. I mean, these are people, many of them are older people, well, what's Mr. Your President. Definition of control? Yeah. Under the it's giving them a false sense right of security. Now, I think it's under control. I'll tell you what. How? A thousand Americans are dying a day. They are dying. That's true. And you ha- it is what it is. Oh, people, are go- people are gonna get sick. It is what it is. What the <laughs> fuck? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's my what the fuck of the week. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, yo, you guys, my WTF moment of the week. You guys, man, I'm gonna show you a video uh, here in just a bit. But uh, if you haven't heard, it was a New Jersey woman um, in this video. You know, I understand you guys. The face mask is a lot. Yes, it's a lot. You know, you can't breathe in it, especially if you woke up in the morning and you had to, you know, run real fast and didn't brush your teeth. So now you got to smell your own stinky breath. But I mean, come on, don't be mad at the whole world just because they didn't put on the face mask. And I understand we got to stay, stay safe out here. But it don't mean just because the next motherfucker didn't have a mask on, you got to go be beating up on people, though. Like, mm-hmm. Right. Right. No sense, though. But, uh... Um, it was a woman in New Jersey who confronted a 54-year-old woman who just had um, liver, liver transplant, you know, and of course, she don't know that. But come on, you just don't know what the next motherfucker is going through. Going through, right. Yeah, going through. And, you know, she, you know, beat up this lady and she was charged with aggravated assault, man. This shit is crazy, you know, WTF one. Shocking video out of New Jersey. Watch as a woman attacks another woman, grabs her cane, throws her to the ground, breaking her leg in the process. All of this happened inside a store in Hackensack after the victim asked the attacker to wear her mask correctly. A request for a customer to properly wear their mask inside the store has unmasked a brutal attack on a woman recovering from a recent liver transplant. The Wednesday afternoon incident, which led to the victim being violently thrown to the ground, has left shoppers shocked by such heartless behavior. Yes, people should wear a mask. It's horrible that someone has attacked somebody else for for just wearing a simple mask. It began when both were using copy machines in the store, separated by a plastic partition wall. The younger woman had her mask down. The victim asked her to pull it up, and then the situation escalated, ending in a violent, nasty shove to the floor, where the victim seemed to beg for help as her attacker calmly walked away and others in the store appeared shocked. You can't do that. I mean, everyone knows we're doing this. It's not a big deal. You know, it's a little bit of a pain, but it's not a big deal. (laughs) The 54-year-old victim had to be taken to Hackensack University Medical Center where she's undergoing surgery for the broken tibia she suffered from being tossed down. Hackensack police are asking anyone who was in the store right after 3 p.m. this past Wednesday to come forward and help them identify the person responsible for such an irresponsible act. This is crazy, though. Okay, I got one more WTF moment. Mm -hmm. Okay. I was happening to be scrolling on Facebook, okay? And I seen a video of this woman. She ran her husband over, I believe, this is what I'm hearing in the video, of 18 years. So I'm not for sure if if he was cheating. I don't know what happened. But all I know, she ran him over a few times. He was laying there, like, lifeless, it looked like. But they said that he was still breathing, and I couldn't believe it. And she was laughing. So that's my, yeah. Mm-hmm. Crazy. Yeah, that's that was crazy. It was crazy. <laughs> Man, people are going crazy. People are going crazy during this pandemic. People can't work. They ain't got their stimulus checks. You know, like, <laughs> they just all over the place right now. It's crazy, man. People just, and like I was saying, you know, what I guess last week, this pop, I mean, this pandemic, you know, if it ain't already, it, you know, it set a lot of people down. And it need to, you know, just take a chill pill, man. 2020 has been 
uh, a 12 round boxing, you know, match, you know, and it just been knockout and after knockout. It's just like you got back up the next month, just getting, keep getting knocked out, you know, by this 2020 year. It's just been crazy, man. So a lot of people just need to take the chill pill and just chill out, man, for real, for real. But, um, I mean, because, and look, if I see a person without their mask on, or I'm just gonna pull mine a little closer to my face, okay? Yeah, right? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Make sure I, I'm goody, you know? I ain't gonna beef with them, you know? You mm-hmm. know? Yeah, I, I feel I feel you. But um, before we wrap it up here, man, I got some shout outs to do though, but uh, I appreciate you, sis, man, for stopping by here on the 11.30 podcast for joining me. Um, Is there anything you wanna uh, say, get off the chest before um, you know, wrap it up here? No, thanks for having me though. I appreciate it. Um, I'm gonna be catching back up with you soon. We're gonna do another one. Okay. But no, I, I appreciate you having me. I do no that. Problem. I appreciate no problem. that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yo, sis, I appreciate you stopping by here on the 11:30 podcast. I appreciate it so so much, man. That was fun, man. That was fun. I've been seeing you in a little bit. So, man, anytime, anytime. Also, the Haitian mama. Also, stop by here on the 11.30 podcast. Don't forget, you guys, go uh, follow her. Go check her podcast out. It's called Mama Life, the podcast. You can find it on Spotify, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, wherever you get your podcasts. You, you know, go check her out. Go check her out, man. Been a fun, dope episode, though. But, uh, hey, I got some shout-outs, man, I want to get to before I hop on out of here. You dig? You dig? So, uh, yo, let's get to it. <clears throat> Let's get to it, you know? Uh, the Cypher Podcast. Enjoy, enjoying the show, fam. Keep putting out the shows. I appreciate it so, so much. The Cypher Podcast. Shout out to the Cypher Podcast. Uh, also, uh, Believe You Can Podcast. Good shit. Plain and simple, good shit. I appreciate it. Believe You Can Podcast. Keep on doing it. Audaciously, Ashley, I didn't know we had a black national anthem. Uh, Anthem, learning something new every day, you know, learning something new every day. Didn't know we had a Black National Anthem in Neva, though. Um, that was a couple of weeks ago when I did that episode with my man Chris, uh, you know, trying to figure out, you know, what's, what the hell is a Black National Anthem? They talking about they going to play that, you know, when the football season, you know, if the football season start, you know, for all the players and shit like that. But, okay. Uh, touchdown with Doug. That's my guy right there. That's my guy. Hey, yo, follow him and go check his podcast out. Funny dude, man. He put out an Instagram post, man, in this location, man. Said, uh, at your mama house. I thought that was funny as a mug, man. But yeah, touchdown with Doug, man. Another classic. I appreciate it, man. Go follow, man. My man, Doug, man. The touchdown Doug podcast. Um, who else we got? Who else we got? We got the Reverb Entertainment podcast. Kanye, Kanye is a wild and great podcast and interview. I appreciate it so, so much. I appreciate it so, so much. The Reverb Experience Podcast. Yo, appreciate the love, appreciate the love. Also, Attack on Show, cool channel. Love the editing. And man, I try, man. I really, really try, you know? <laughs> uh, who else we got here? Bridges and Bank Rose Podcast. We're just in Bank Bros podcast, you know? <laughs> Sound like they from ATL or something. But uh, hey, uh, good ground, homie. Let's take over with this podcast. You know it. You know it, man. We're taking it over with this podcast. You know, we got to, you know, put on, you know? We got to do our thing. Uh, Matt, who we got here? Matt Plots. Matt Plots. Uh, love your intro, bro. Here from Facebook. Hit you with a like. I messaged you, man. Appreciate the love, man. Appreciate the love, Matt. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Who else we got here? The Itty Bitty Podcast. My man, Perry Phillips. Perry Phillips, what's going on, man? He was on the show um, not too long ago, a couple of weeks ago, man. He stopped past. He uh, was uh, talking about the birth of his um, newborn baby girl. On this episode was about, you know, kids and everything. Um, but I shout out to my man Perry Phillips, man. I appreciate you stopping by. Uh, thanks again for having me on. Love the concept. Keep up the good work, man. Much appreciated, bro. Much appreciated. Also, man, who else we got here? Uh, Chronicles Podcast. Keep doing your thing, bro. Appreciate it. Chronicles Podcast. Shout out to them. Go check them out. Chronicles Podcast. 
Uh, who else we got? DJ91 from the Out of Control podcast. He was here not too long ago. What, like two weeks ago? I appreciate you, DJ91. We stopping by here all the way from Canada, man. Hey, I don't appreciate that post y'all put on, uh, what was it, Instagram? That, you know, uh, teasing, you know, uh, the Raptors winning over the Lakers in a game that happened last week. I don't appreciate that, though, but I appreciate y'all, man, for stopping by Out of Control Podcast. Out of Control Podcast. Oops, caught me smoking. Oops, caught me smoking again, man. Hey, I ain't got my J right now, though, but, uh, hey, yo, good shit, homie. Stay up. I appreciate it, my guy. I appreciate it so, so much, man. Go check out his podcast, though. Get high, talk some shit, man. It'll be funny, man, for real. Oh, uh, else we got? Uh, be no do, be no, be no do, be no do podcast, be no do. I love it, I love it, man. I love it, I love doing it. I appreciate it. Shout out to B, be no do. Uh, the Discipline Therapy Podcast. Shout them out. Already know you guys, man. I appreciate the love. Appreciate it. Uh, who else we got? Uh, James Davis. James Davis, strong arm, man. Stand strong, man. Just keep doing the podcast. Uh, George's Talk, the 1130 podcast. Keep up the great work. I love ATL. ATL's dope. Shout out to Aritu Avon for stopping by on the podcast last week. She from the ATL. That was a cool, cool show. Uh, uh, Tony Lynch, I'm digging it, man. You digging it? I'm digging it too, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate everybody, man, who left a comment. You know, uh, also shout out to Brittany. Um, dope episode on so many levels. I thank you so, so much, baby. My number one fan, number one fan. Also, uh, you know, I think that's about it. Yeah, that's about it. I appreciate everybody, man, who leave a comment, who like, who like the video, share it, man. I appreciate it so, so much, you guys, man. Before I wrap it up, don't forget to follow The 1130 Podcast on Instagram at The 1130 Podcast. Like The 1130 Podcast on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter at Drake on Wheels. If you want to be a guest on the show, hit me up at The 1130 Podcast at gmail.com. That's The 1130 Podcast at gmail.com also you guys I have a podcast each and every Thursday you guys it's the 1130 podcast talk pro wrestling um don't miss it you know tune into it follow me man uh it's on Spotify Apple Podcasts Google Podcasts wherever you get your podcasts I'll leave a review give me a five star rating I appreciate it so so much um that's the wrestling that's the 1130 podcast talk pro wrestling and uh once again you guys don't forget to hit the Subscribe button. Hey, yo, been a cool episode. I appreciate Mama Life for stopping by all the way from Jacksonville, Florida, and my big, big sister who's stopping past, you know, from the D.C. area, so you know we got put on. But, uh, yo, this your man, Dre, a.k.a. Dre on the wheels. Hey, yo, man.